Hello friends, today in this video, I'm going to tell you how to run your first PHP code in VS Code, VS Visual Studio. So let me, let me run and show you how to run the PHP. So you can see the hello world is the output of this code. Now, how can we run this code or how can we run PHP file in Visual Studio? So first of all, you have to, uh, you have to go to uh, extension and run, search for the code runner and you can see uh, code runner is used for uh, running following uh, programming language so you can install this uh, this extension once you install this extension now you have to go to browser and search for uh, xamp apache server so just open it and install it so just download the installer file of this uh, xamp server so once it is download just install it Inso installation is very easy so once you install just let's open the xam server so i have already installed open it but we don't need to open this file uh, application we just need to copy the execution path of uh, php so just open the xam from the c drive and uh, you can see it is located in the c drive it can be in program file but my xamp is outside the programming file so now uh, look for php folder now look for php.exe so it is an application file now just click on it and copy the path of this file now once you copy the path now open the visual studio now press ctrl shift and p uh, three uh, three uh, button at the same time and once you're done now click on this uh, open user settings json and once you open just copy these two lines in your uh, this json file copy this file and you have to replace this uh, you have to replace this path with your um, php file so usually uh, the the path will be same if you have installed the xamp in other folder you have to replace with the directory and make sure that the slash will be double fine and it should be end with php.exe file because when you copy the uh, copy the path it will copy only it will copy uh, only the php folder but not going to copy the php.exe file so you have to add this thing uh, uh, at your own so i'm going to give you this uh, give, give you this code in the description you can copy and just paste it fine once you're done just save it and now we are going to do or we are going to uh, run our first php code so i have already created the example.php you can create your own file let me go uh, create a new file here so let's create it uh, first php php fine first php and now just uh, to write any php code write uh, less than and php after this we have to end this tag and now we can write our first line of line code of first line of the code which is echo and double quotes and just put any statement here welcome to the php tutorial fine so yeah let me run this code debug run and debug so as you can see the output will be welcome to the php tutorial fine now if you want to see the output in if you want to see the output in uh, browser then you have to write this code in the html text fine or we have to if you want to uh, see the output in the browser we have to write our code in the htdocs folder we have we should know that so how can we do that so we have to open the folder op open the htdocs folder so it is usually in the xamp folder can you look at this folder just open this folder 
and write your code in the htdocs folder htdocs fine so i'm going to open this file uh, using uh, visual studio and open with the visual studio now you can see this is our this is our code and i wrote this code so it should be in the html text because uh, we can write we, if we want to run this uh, code we have it should be in the html text and now now you have to run uh, these apache server fine once you start the server now open the browser and uh, type local host and local host and after this your file name so it can be so what is the name of the file first so let me type first so it is there you can see it is suggesting me i'm gonna open this file and as you can see it is this is our output of the code fine so first line our first line is basically the heading and second line also heading but in different font the so s3 is a uh, s3 basically reduce the size of the font reduce, reduce the size of the uh, text so yeah let me change something here welcome to to the php tutorial fine let me run this again now you can see so we can uh, run if you want to debug your code and while you're doing so you can run the code for following code in the air but if you are testing your uh, project you can run the file your php here in browser but before but you have to make sure that your file should be in stdocs stdoc folder fine if you are creating a file uh, stdoc uh, if you are creating any php file in other folder the path should be suppose uh, i have already created another uh, another folder here php files so when if you want to access these files if you want to access these files you have to basically add slash here let me write php files like this let me see yeah php php files will it support not supporting so the the folders folder name should be uh, without uh, let me uh, let me let me name it without a space now let let's see because it is open that's why it is not allowing me so where it is open i think this this is in this folder okay so it's open in this so i think i am writing this file i have to close from here here and here now let it let me save it not allowing me because i have op opened the folder in this uh, visual studio so i have to choose another folder mm. let me open the stdocs let me open the stdocs folder Oh, sorry. Now it will work. So let me change now the file folder name because it is with a space. Now, now let's what is the name p h p file 
and what is the name of the file first so now you can see welcome to the php tutorial fine so if i want to access other file which is example now you can see because i wrote hello world in the example dot file create php file so if i access those files so let me access the file again what is the folder xtdocs and php now where is the first this is our first code if i put uh, uh, h1 text here so you will see the difference h1 text so basically it was first let me change it first now you can see so yeah that's why you can run your first php code in visual studio in uh, console as well as in the browser i hope you like it thanks for watching bye bye